Yeah. All right. You want to count us in, Rich? What day is today? Oh, oh well, one day. It's that's... your birthday. <laughs> I told you, if Facebook didn't tell me, I wouldn't know. <laughs> what day is today? today? That's awesome. Uh, you've, just, you've just consumed your birthday five, donut. Four, three, two, one, go. Hey, welcome back to Even More Mashed Up. We are the Popcast, or two professors. The Popcast? Did I just say the Popcast? <laughs> well, I got the dog on my lap, and it's just hard to focus. It's hard to, yeah, it's yeah. Hard to take it as seriously as yeah. we do hey. in the studio. Let me try that one again. <laughs> Welcome to Even More Mashed Up. We are the podcast where two professors talk about all things popular culture. I'm Alan. And that was a lot of peas, and here's another one, because I'm Patrick. Woo! Yes. Alliteration. One of us loves alliteration. Yes, one of us does. Some have referred to our show as a time capsule of pop culture. Who has? I don't know. Did I sound like Casey Kasem? A little bit. A little bit. I felt it was like Casey Kasem doing mixed the Twilight, with the Twilight Zone. Zone. It, was a, it was a weak Casey was Kasem. Weak, yeah. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not that good, so. Anyways, in our last episode, we talked about the films that were announced for MCU Phase 4. In our four. previous episode, we did. However. Or did you just turn the recording on? No, I checked to make sure it was recording. I just want to make sure. There were also, okay, so well, that's even better. Did you turn it on? No, I checked to make sure it was working. Yeah. Um, <laughs> however, the same there were a whole slate of shows that are going to be on the Disney Plus streaming service. Right. That were also announced that we haven't talked about yet. No, it's true. So, kind that of by seemed design, like, right? That seemed like a logical topic for this episode. Because uh, superhero TV is not played out. Question. Well, as, yes. Is. Oh, is, Rich is here. <laughs> you can me my tracks. <laughs> um, is them putting on the Disney Plus network in, um, like, because of Netflix not tr trying to do more original and not doing it, or are they playing this from the get-go, do you think? What? What? That's a hard question to follow. Well, because usually these kind of shows will go on Netflix. Yeah, but Disney now has its own version of Netflix. But I mean, do they open that because Netflix stopped like trying to do like was starting to cancel shows? No, no. Disney, I think, just realized that why should we we license our stuff to Netflix when we could just show our stuff ourselves and not and just get all. So of this the money. is part of a transition where they're killing the Netflix shows so they yeah. can then do yeah. their own. And I guess, do you think they would? And in a sense, killing business? Netflix. Potentially, yeah. Well, because like know, Netflix, like, what Netflix is now? I mean, the the version I have, I think I just got my bill. It's like sixteen ninety five or something. Yeah, a month <laughs> or like a, a month. Disney Plus is going to be six ninety nine. No, really? Yeah, that's the price they announced. It's like six ninety nine. So now, what's the point now? You probably have to start choosing. Well, that's the issue: is that instead of having it's like coming, Netflix right? that have, yeah. yeah, this is, is why NBC creates a platform and CBS is already running has theirs. Star Trek. Yeah, because before you could be like Netflix and Hulu and kind of have both. Yeah. Well, now Disney yeah. owns Hulu, so a lot of people think Hulu and Disney. Like a lot of people think that you might, if you have Hulu, you. I think they announced that they're going to do Disney Plus as some kind of add-on, like. You know, maybe whatever you're paying for Hulu, you pay a couple bucks extra and you Why get they make Disney, it Disney Plus. Plus I just feel like... Hulu. I, I think understand. they want to use Hulu so that they can show... Because they've said anything on Disney Plus is going to be PG-13 or lower. Oh, I think Hulu allows okay. them to show other stuff. I think they're going to use it I didn't know that that was a, they were going to have a content... Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's why they've said the Netflix stuff will not be on Disney Plus because that's all TVMA. Uh, okay, that makes sense. But that's one of the theories is that stuff that normally wouldn't... Be on Disney Plus can go to Hulu. No, it makes sense because then parents can be like, here's the Disney Go or the Disney Plus subscription. Yeah. Paid, you but know. Th this should kill cable eventually, right? See, They're, I wonder about that I because. Think cable's dead already. Well, but here's my question Are people going to want to pay six ninety nine to a whole bunch of different things? But Or just go to cable? How, how much do you pay for but cable you can't right just now? Go to cable. Cable's 100 bucks a month. So you can afford how many streaming services? I can, but then, I, the but then I've also still got to get the cable for the TV. Do you? No, you don't. What do you Why? mean? What do you watch on cable? Why? I like to sometimes just flip through the channels and watch what's on. But you can do that with Netflix and stuff. See, that's, that's different. I've got to actually make a choice with Netflix. But I think that's really old fashioned. I think I have you I met me. Yeah, no. <laughs> but I'm saying I, <laughs> we're I, not saying I don't think the place. that yeah. I don't think that attitude will sustain cable. Well, especially because nowadays most know. people want to just watch the thing they want to watch. If, but if cable right. still lets you get. All of the things that you can get in these very... It depends on if... Like, it's not, it doesn't. Can I Already still on-demand... Well, but they still give to cable on-demand everything that... So you that, can watch the Star Trek? But for now... No, I don't watch the Star Trek. No, but can you on the CBS? That's, I thought you had to buy the CBS... You do for CBS, yes. Service, you okay. Do. But for other things, like, you know, every movie that comes out from Disney... For I now can, it I can is. pay-per-view, so... But what right. if they stop doing it? Yeah, I don't know. Like, right. what if Disney's like, hey, 
We've got the Disney Plus. We I just no like having cable. Right. I just yeah. like having cable TV. I get it, but uh, I mean, the... you like my movie. Like I watch everything on my computer or on my phone. But he still has the cable because he wants to do the flip. Right. The channel. Like Bobby, yeah, I like Bobby a... doesn't even have it. Like he has a TV, but he never watches TV. Yeah, I don't yeah. have a TV. Like, like he doesn't watch TV. Because I have like a computer. Yeah. Like you're antiquated. And the, the flip side of it too is that you're paying. I like for to all... think I'm classic. Don't you pay no. for? Don't you pay for all these channels that you never watch? Like, do you ever think about that? No. How many channels do you get? <laughs> oh, I have no idea. Via service. Exactly. I get all of them. So you get like 150 channels. Something like that. How many do you watch? Uh, 148. Really? That's just not true. What are the two, <laughs> are the two you said no to? That's, that's just not true. Yeah. Uh, right? I don't like, watch Hallmark and Lifetime. Right, yeah. So, but you're paying to sustain them. I don't like to. I, I, I think of it more as I am paying a price for the shows that I want to watch, the channels I want to watch that I'm willing to, flip to pay. around. And then a whole bunch of other stuff. Whereas with Netflix, I pay the basic amount, which is like six or seven a month. But see, I like I'm like what I like is that like it's eight thirty at night. I can just turn. There's something that's going to be on the cable that I want to watch. Same thing with Netflix. But if I, but if I go to Netflix, I got to make a choice. But I do understand that because Vicky and I will sit down. Because I find night myself like, so I'm like, we'll like I feel like watching Netflix, and then I literally spend a half an hour scanning through stuff, and I'm like I can't pick something. That makes me feel so much better because Vicky and I will sit. Oh, like, I do like, the same thing. Let's sit down and watch a movie. Yeah. And then you, you like you turn on the Netflix, and the Netflix has gazillion movies. Mm-hmm. But then you have to actually make a choice about what you're going to watch. Now right. and that is like it's a really thing. sad commentary that you would rather just have what the corporate conglomerate types of are all electric corporate conglomerates are shoving no, down uh, your throat. Netflix no. is a grassroots. No, it's not. <laughs> no, but but not for, you're going to tell me Disney Plus is the, the, no, no. the streaming service of no. the people? No, is no, the indie... you're not listening to me. Yeah. Once again, you want to create a caricature of my argument. Okay. What I'm saying is that when you watch Netflix, you choose what you watch. You're saying what you would prefer is to be like a baby bird in a nest and have, you know, Mama service bird electric. Disney. Yeah, Mama Bird Chew it service up and electric. It into my yeah, mouth. like literally vomiting into your mouth. And you're just like, oh, well, more, sir, more, sir. You could also <laughs> argue it's a bit more like a How radio. can you argue for that? I would, I would make one, one slight change to your metaphor. Yeah. Is that they're vomiting much more than I can actually watch or <laughs> at the same right. time. So you're like you're sitting in all this stuff. Yeah. Like you're like covered in vomit. I'm covered in vomit. Picking. I'm like, oh, there's the piece of corn I want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that. It doesn't seem like that's helping your yeah. argument. Yeah. I don't know, I'm just making it the, the metaphor more accurate. But to me, it's really interesting. It seems well, to me like the, the see... platforms have to be the future because everybody's going to make it exclusive. If I'm NBC and yeah, you can watch The choice. Office whenever you want on mm. you know TNT or whatever, like what good is that to me? Yeah, you're not going to have the option soon because no. at best you'll get the basic cable package and that'll be it. Like Your local the, channels? Yeah. yeah, your local channels, like Judge Judy and stuff. Like, is that... Excuse me. Yes. Judge Judy's your example of local television? My mom watches Judge Judy. Yeah, but it, it is a nationally syndicated Yes. But show. I mean, so when I come home, that is always playing. Right. Don't look at me like How that. How the glimpse into, into Rich's home life? <laughs> Mr. I'll eat corn out of vomit. <laughs> that was a metaphor. <laughs> You're metaphorically <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Right, he's sitting in Judge Judy while he's eating the corn. No, yeah. no, Judge Judy is part of the vomit. <laughs> right, that's what I mean. <laughs> it's it's like, but not the part that I want. <laughs> to get to, you know, your Star Trek or whatever. Right. I don't know. It just seems to me like... Yeah, yeah I don't know. Like, we're seriously thinking about getting the Hulu Plus stuff. Yeah. That's what Valerie... Valerie doesn't have cable. Which streams does... enough of, like, the, the stuff that you, that I watch. Like, you it's mostly sports and then... YouTube is like the new TV. Because yeah. it, oh, the, the bad news is that did you see Service Electric? Um, they're no longer just going to give you Red Zone. I did. Which yeah. Red Zone? That's the one that they they flip between all the football it's games. The only thing that makes football worth watching for most Sundays here, if you're a Browns fan, and there's yeah, it's only way, yeah, well, if you're a Niners fan, it's the only no, way. I haven't yeah. watched sports. It seems like the Niners. Well, yeah, and especially the on Niners like, right now on Red Zone. Yeah, like they're often like one of two games. It's the second, yeah, so the late slot, and so you're essentially watching. Yeah. Oh, the other games in halftime. The I, whole yeah. game. You I know. know. Or you're just cutting back and forth between two or three games. Like, yeah. you're watching the best parts of your team and a lot of your team, plus more interesting stuff. Yeah. So we yeah. are two minutes young. Yeah. So, anywho, speaking of TV. Oh. <laughs> just, I'm not against it, but I just, we, we yeah. did have a, a So, Alan, there. of course, <laughs> has famously given up largely on superhero That's TV. That's not true. Except for Gotham. You'll watch it religiously. I never watch Gotham. <laughs> he is. Remember, I can't watch Gotham. Somehow, no. But you're, you're going to watch Pennyworth, aren't you? No. 
the podcast no. the podcast told me yeah. that I could no longer watch and Gotham. And yet somehow you were able to guess at least more than half of what happens in Gotham. Pick the stupid and trust your gut. Yeah. That's well, the rule for the Gotham those, yeah. yeah, but one of those things you're better at than the other. <laughs> yeah. You Pick the stupid. Yeah. 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 I got the stupid skill. You talk yeah. yourself with the right answers Yeah, the, the yeah. trust your gut is, thing is, I'm, I'm less good at. The yeah. best part of the Gotham quiz is literally sitting here as you pick the right answer and, and then, then talk yourself into the wrong answer. As I get older answer. and older, I just become so, like, so much. I'm, and then I'm Rich is so just like, yeah, it's yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't think about it. Yeah. What's the dumbest? Unbelievable. So, yeah. so to be clear, Gotham was killed yes. by the show. But you could watch Pennyworth because you know why? Why? Not only is it the origin of Penny of Alfred Pennyworth, like, like pre- when he goes to school? And, no, uh, I'm not sure. But I read an article. Yeah. It is set in the Gotham universe. Yep. No, thank you. So it is officially a prequel to Gotham. Which we don't need. Oh, of course oh, we Okay, it. I am not going to watch Pennyworth. Okay. I do, don't watch Gotham, but it's not on TV you anymore. You don't watch Supergirl. I don't watch Supergirl. You don't watch Black Lightning. Supergirl's my regret. I've you don't tried watch Black Legion. Lightning. I can't keep up with it. You don't watch Legion, which is ending anyways. Um, I do watch Legion, Legends of Tomorrow. You about. don't watch Runaways. You don't watch Cloak and Dagger. No, I watch I watch Legends. I watch Arrow. Yeah. I watch Which is ending. Flash. Yeah. You have, you're way behind on the Marvel Netflix show. Let's just say I haven't watched this season of Shield. You have yeah, Shield. You're behind. You're a, you have a somewhat. Oh, I didn't watch the Punisher. Lukewarm relationship with superhero television. I'm a little burned out on it. Yeah. And I have a life. Yeah. So two things going on there. Right. I'm not burned out on it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> We'll just skip over the second part. So, however, <laughs> as part of the MCU Phase 4, there were, How I think, five... How do you find the time? You, you just listed, like, a dozen shows. I think shows. he hasn't playing when he does a Lego. They're not all on background. at the same time. It's like 12 hours a week right there. No, you, they, they're, not, they're not all on at the same time. Yeah, but you're watching other stuff, too. Not much. There's not a lot on my DVR that's not all right. superhero stuff. All right, so... Yeah. So... Also, they have, there sleep, are one, two. Yeah. Oh, I sleep a lot. Three, <laughs> right? Four. The dog all the there time. are five, five shows. Okay. That have been announced. All right. I, so I'm curious if any of these are going to get you back on the superhero here's what, TV. Here's bandwagon. what I want you to do for me today. I'm the Disney Plus executive. Mm-hmm. You're the guy pitching each of these five shows. So I want you to pitch me. And answer just one simple question. Uh huh. Why should I care? Uh huh. Yeah, okay. you've got thirty minutes. So here's an meeting. idea. That's right. Well, you don't, you don't have thirty minutes. You know, this you, would yeah. make, that would make this podcast yeah. like also. You know what's you know what's not a great idea. Three minutes. Yeah. You, have, <laughs> you know what's you know what's not a great idea. What's that? Changing the concept of the show in the middle of the show. We talked about this. Yeah, but I was just going to tell you what they're okay. doing. Wait a minute. I'm That's gonna no go fun. To, I, I, I want to go to my Facebook real quickly. Yeah, I said I would pitch. You know, basically give I just you want to read what you wrote to me. Something like that. I don't remember what I wrote. I just put together some notes. We could do MCU TV. This is from you. Yes. But set it up as pitching the various shows to you since right. you've given up on superhero to TV. To you, not to a Disney executive. Well, that's me. I'm You're just not playing a Disney, a Disney executive. executive. No, okay. to okay. Alan, so who pitch does to not me. like... Which, to which I said... Ball. Should we do this? Let's do the pitch plan. Yes. To which you said, works for me. Exactly. To which I said... Cool, but you yeah. are not a Disney executive. To which you said... Uh, Richard said, all right, I'll be there for 10. Yeah. Yeah, I just let you guys talk so, and say, yeah, I'll be there. All right. So, <laughs> so I just, I just want to be clear. Yes, but I was pitching can, to you, can Alan, we just be clear? the lukewarm that's, superhero that's really TV That's really the fan. loophole you want to walk through. Yes. Because you're acting like this is just a brand new thing. Pitching to you is different than pitching to a Disney executive. How? I'm sorry to burst your bubble. How? But he's the pole. No, he's not. Yeah. You are not Michael Eisner. He's not an executive. I don't know what he is. He's, he's the owner. He's the name associated with Disney. So whatever. Pitch me. All right, so the first option. Yeah. Coming in fall 2020. Fall 2020. The Falcon and Winter Soldier. Wait, have I already greenlit this project? These are all greenlit, yes. I, nobody's told cut. me. Like, I'm the Disney executive and nothing's yeah, been and run by me. undercut. I know. By Some, Eisner, I somebody's going to get fired. Get but Eisner on the phone. He's fired. You're clearly just a figurehead. You're fired, Eisner. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so featuring oh, yeah. Anthony Mackie as Falcon slash the new Captain America. He, wasn't he the Captain America in the film? I'm going to get to that. Sebastian Stan as Bucky. Wasn't he Bucky in the film? Slash Winter Soldier. Yes. Okay, so you're telling me you're bringing the two guys from the movies? Yes, and... Wait, so this isn't going to be like S.H.I.E.L.D. These are actually going to matter. Yes, and yeah. I know oh, this is... step up. Yes. yes. And I know this is what's well, really going to excite you. Colson matters. But you know S.H.I.E.L.D. got way better when it wasn't connected to the MCU universe. Yes, but I'm sure they'll figure that out now. 
No, you need to figure it out because you're pitching me. No, I'm fine. No, I'm it's pitching, thing I'm you're pitching talking Alan, about. the lukewarm superhero TV fan, yeah. not Alan's Disney executive fantasy. Okay, I'll be the executive. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, you need to laugh. And, gonna and I know this is what's really going to... stock just tank yeah. and everybody's like, what went wrong? Yeah. This is what's going to really <laughs> excite you. Returning Daniel Bruhl as Zemo, complete with purple sock. I've seen the purple sock on his head. Um, Wait, why does he have a sock on his head? That's how he, in the comics he's he got uh, the mask and he's a bit X to his face. He was actually playing around with super glue and a sock, and he accidentally super glued it to his face. See, when you please. say he was playing with super glue and a sock, it sounds like something very different. Wait, so please tell but me you're kidding. It's his origin story. No, it's it is. Yeah, he was creating a, a super adhesive that he spilled with on super himself glue and, a sock. and then had the the sock mask on, and so it is permanently adhered to his face. Man, comics. Yeah. Sometimes you I'm just... I'm pretty sure that also happened to his dad. Um, <laughs> so, six episodes. Okay, so Zemo. Oh, it's rumored man. that the crux of the series... And I, I, think this I, is, I this like Daniel Brühl. I know. I like Anthony Mackie. Mm -hmm. I like Sebastian Stan. All right. I like the characters they play, although right. Zemo's kind of a, a cipher to me. But I think this is what you... This is, mean, this is what oh I think is going to get you. He should advertise alcoholic drinks. Fine. Zemo. Oh. Zemo? Mm. No, I get it. You want a cold Zemo? It is rumored yeah. that the crux of the series... It's, it's a buddy road trip. ...will be the government not actually wanting Falcon to take on the role of Captain America. Mm. Ooh. I like that idea. Uh, I thought it might, yeah. Why don't they want to be Captain America? Oh, gee, I can't think of why any particular reason. Interesting. Why they'd be... Uh... He's too young. Yes, that's what it is. I knew it. Is it going to be like an orange-skinned leader's... No. Just like for no, it's going to be a purple sock face. White. But I'm pretty sure if you pull the mask off and the glue and whatnot, well, it's left is like an orange, orange. face. Just Cheetos part of the sock. It, it makes me wonder if they're doing. Over. I wonder if they're doing a nod to the yeah. Cap storyline where he gave up the role. Yeah. And Super Patriot slash eventually U.S. Agent became Captain America. I wonder if it's going to be sort of doing a version of that. I I like that idea. I mean, I like the idea of a buddy road trip, which yes. I guess we're not going to get probably. I think there's going to be elements of oh, that too. Oh, they could be on the run. I mean, considering, you know, their chemistry in, in uh, Civil War. They, look, those two guys have great chemistry. Yeah. I yeah. think Anthony Mackie has chemistry with pretty much anyone he's with. I'm pretty sure Vicky is not going to let me buy any more streaming services. So it's going to be difficult for me to watch, but this I like the premise. This one's only $6.99. I like That's the premise. That's not a great... Can you store some more stuff in my basement? How would that help? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So... Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to. I'd, I'd definitely have to get rid of the the service electric to make. Don't it you happen. have Hulu? I do. So it might just be an add-on to Hulu. So maybe it's only a couple bucks. It's still money. It's still money. Like we're, I'm paying for Amazon Prime, which is almost useless. Yeah. I don't know why people pay for that. I don't know either. The shipping. Um, the shipping's not a big deal. Sometimes it's a, um, it's a huge deal. If you ship a lot. And I got the Netflix and I got the Hulu. Drop Netflix. It's gonna be dead soon. Is it? You yeah. heard it here first, folks. Netflix is dead. How long can Stranger Things sustain that series? Oh, it's done. But they've still got Parks and Rec. That's NBC. That's going to go the way of The Office yeah. and Friends. But, and... Okay, so when Netflix doesn't have that stuff anymore, I can get rid of it, but then I have to get the NBC platform. No, you get Hulu, because that has the NBC stuff. But it won't then. Oh, now. Oh, yeah. Do you really need Parks and Rec that badly? Buy it on DVD. It's a one-time purchase. We're watching it over and over. On DVD? No, we're watching it on Netflix. Yeah, That's but right. We have just, the Netflix. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. So you're you're kind of on board, it seems, for Falcon Winter Soldier. I like the idea, but you haven't got me to spend six ninety nine yet. All right. Second option. I'll just read a synopsis and come on the show and act like I watched it. Coming sometime in spring twenty twenty one. Spring twenty twenty one. Wandavision. What? Wandavision. I just finished reading, the Vision goes to the suburbs. I haven't read that yet. Don't spoil it for me. I know it ends badly. Only the first. It ends so badly. Only the first collected edition. Yeah. It is really spectacularly good. Yeah, like there's is, rumors that they might be doing something with that, but I don't know. Well, I mean, obviously Wanda's not in that. Yeah. You know, in that, he kind of creates his own family. So which you already know. So, see if you can guess yeah. which casting decision I am most excited about. Wait, time out. When it comes to WandaVision. Is Vision. Vision dead? Yes, and this is a post-end game show, so that's got some... So, Elizabeth Olsen yeah. as Wanda Maximoff slash the she's Scarlet been, Witch. She's been good as a Scarlet Witch. Pretty kick-ass. Paul Bettany as the Vision. Okay, I don't understand how he can be there, but okay. They also announced 
so that wait, the series will feature, and I hope I'm pronouncing Bet this me. name right, oh, okay. Tayana Paris, yeah. as an adult, Monica Rambeau. Wow. But wait. Oh, because there was only a little kid Monica Rambeau. Yes. So, and So they're going to have... And That's, the showrunner God. is the woman who wrote the screenplay for both Captain Marvel and the upcoming Black Widow film. Hey, Vicky, yeah. can we find seven dollars a month in our budget? Um, we talked about last night. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm you gonna can have, return those new shoes. Could you? Well, that was birthday money, so. And also, it's not seven dollars a month. Mm. So, could you pay ask, for it? Ask could for you subsidize for it? This is what I want for my birthday. So I, want uh, I already got my birthday gift. That was Hamilton. Uh, oh, jeez. Was that a $10 Hamilton ticket, or was it like a full oh, no, price? That was, no, oh. that was a $10, but like, you know, okay. we, we ate at Blockheads. We had a day in New York. It was an expensive day. Yeah. So the other thing, so now, so that's got you excited. I'm a little bit worried yeah. about this other element of What's the show. What's the premise of the show? We're not really sure. We know it's going to tie into Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. It should, because Wanda's in it. Also, it supposedly is taking place in the 1950s at some point. Which suggests, of course, time travel. Time travel. Vicky, or, you, can, you can cancel that six ninety nine request. Yeah. Or a you had me until you got the time travel. Yeah, it's got to be time travel. But the idea of them time traveling back to the nineteen fifties in a way that doesn't alter any continuity, mm -hmm. but allows them to do the vision in the suburbs—that's interesting. Yeah. So six to eight Marvel episodes does, does some pretty good stuff. Uh, so according, this is the so quote far. from Olson. This is the quote from Olson at Comic Con. We're going to get weird, we're going to go deep, we're going to have lots of surprises, and we're going to finally understand Wanda Maximoff as the Scarlet Witch. Because the rumor is that they yeah. might sort of make her more like the comic book version with the real reality-altering powers in some yeah. way. That we might get the multiverse of madness in Doctor Strange because of what Wanda does in WandaVision. Which might be how they bring Vision back. She might oh, alter reality to do that. Kind of like a... So then it wouldn't even be time travel as much as like a multiverse kind of deal. Yeah. Well, in the comics, Scarlet Witch has the power to affect reality. Not yeah. generally she, on that she scale. She kind of ends all the mutants. She does, yeah. When she sort of taps into like the yeah. full potential of her power. Um, wow, that's intriguing. And that would kind of set up a film where Doctor Strange would have to fix stuff that yes. she's broken. Yes. It's so, I, so I feel like that one's that's got you. That's two pretty good shows. All right. Yeah, that's I two think, good pitches. I think you're going to like this one, too. Third option. Yes. Also coming in spring 2021. Okay. Loki. I don't know if I need more Loki. Now, Loki might help me make the argument to no, Vicky for $7 okay. a month. It is still starring Tom Hiddleston. she loves Tom Hiddleston. There's not a lot known about this, except it will apparently be following the adventures of Loki, who escaped as Guardian and S.H.I.E.L.D. custody in Endgame. Right, that makes sense. Uh, one assumes that was so, setting up that. So not a Loki that has, so a Loki that has not gone through all of the redemptive stuff. Uh, so it's lo it's basically lo picking up where Loki was at the end of the first Avengers film. So now yeah. this is a concern though, because that means they are continuing that reality they jumped into. They're not leaving that behind. Or he's he's jumped from that reality to the main MCU reality. But again, still because he has the, he has the Tesseract with him. Uh, thing you would worry about with Phase Four, right? So where did he jump to at the in End Game? We like, don't know. We never see him again. But he right. can't jump between realities, can he? Well, this is this is the see, thing. I don't think he jumped reality. Maybe I don't he either. just jumped to a different place on well, Earth. Well, that's the thing. The Tesseract allows you to move in space, not time. Yeah. However, uh, there is a shot from San Diego Comic Con that shows Loki walking down a street in front of a theater marquee, showing Jaws. So? so that would put him in 1975. And, and so in I early, love the now, 70s. But now here's, no, here's the part that I think you're I going to like. And, like and this gets to my so first far. question. No, no. My, this will be one of okay. my questions for you. So, an early yeah. synopsis for the series indicates that Loki would follow the title character as he, quote, pops up throughout human history as an unlikely influencer on historical events. It's been overdone. So just think, like, Loki pops into the White House and is the god of mischief, turns the tapes on when Nixon doesn't know about it. Okay, that's a fun scene. Yes. What or does it make for a series? Or Loki, being the god of mischief, tampers with the 2016 presidential election in ways that end up horrifying, <laughs> also known as our reality. Okay. Um, so, I, I don't, what I'm other... I'm not sure I love Loki as it. a god of mischief. Damaging the fuel tanks in the Challenger, so it explodes. There you go. Right. Yeah. 
That was wow. dark. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's not a good person, remember? Yeah. He's, he's mischievous. No, he didn't. He hasn't redeemed himself in any way. I know, but he's, he, he doesn't so hate he's all people. So he's still on the full-on stabbing Thor a bunch of times so yeah, that he dies. he hates his brother. That's totally rational. He's not that he, he just wants to rule other people. He doesn't want to kill him. Mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, I'd, I'm not sold on this. Although it will help me sell it to Vicky. I thought you like. I thought you would like the whole historical angle. You know, it's kind of like timeless in shows like that. Yes, we've just, we've just done a whole cycle of timeless. Uh, do we need more of it? I'm not sure. And again, was timeless good? And if he's going back, I loved it for its representation of history professors. Yeah, it is the classic ah, history. All knowing. Yep. All knowing. All oh, close. that's like, according to our historical text. Same with John Legends Wilkes of Tomorrow. Booth. Yeah, yep. John Wilkes Booth went to the post office. Yeah. At 4 p.m. After buying a soda. Yeah. At the. F- <laughs> I think it was actually a sarsaparilla, but yeah. uh, who's to say? What happened? Um, I don't. I don't really love the premise. Okay. Um, and then if he changes things in the past, won't that change things in the Marvel future? That, or is he the one that influences the past to go the way it does? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. It's like the hamster wheel kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't love the time travel mm-hmm. idea. You know, I don't like the okay. time travel idea. I know. I know. Um, but historical. It is historical in a completely ahistorical way. Everything okay? Oh yeah, no, I just you were checking your watch because it's chiming high noon out there. No, I, I my phone has been vibrating and the texts go to my watch. Oh, got so, it. So you got more important things to do. I don't know. There's something going on that I'm getting texted a lot. Okay. Yeah, um, <laughs> wonder why. All right. Um, so Loki. That I'm not really feeling it. Okay. Like, okay. How are you feeling about Loki, Vicky? Tom Hiddleston. Okay, that's okay. a thumbs up. So, and she really liked Timeless. Yeah. Which okay. Would help. All right. So there you see, yeah. it's 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 like the Disney Plus streaming so service. So Tom Hilton goes back. Everyone. Tom Hilton goes back and gives Nixon phlebitis. There you go. See, this is what but I'm how saying. Does Tom, how does Loki go back through time if he can? Well, he's he's the guy. Well, that's one of the shit. theories. Is is pop, perhaps because it's coming around the same time as One Division. Yeah. Perhaps. Well, number Wanda one, Loki is, is a time somewhere. anomaly himself at this point. Right. But also, maybe it's picking up from whatever Wanda does that then needs well, to be fixed in Doctor anomaly. Strange. Sure he is. Sure he is. He's, he's left his proper place in time, and he's now running around in but the But you passion. don't know if it's proper place, because that's a different universe. He could have been well, but if it's he's not, in why is it a different universe? Yeah. Because they, when they traveled there, remember those two Captain Americas? In Endgame, he's talking about. Yeah. Right. But no, it's no, not, no, a, it's not a different it. universe. No, no, the Hulk explained it, that when you go back in time, you're going to essentially a different universe. Because you can't go back to your own time. I didn't understand the Hulk's explanation. Yeah, that's basically what I think the Hulk was saying. Yeah. So when you go back in time, you go to a different universe, and you're not going back in time. Well, no, but right. But you're creating a new universe. Well, yeah. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Let's not go to the... We still got a couple 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 shows to talk about. All right, forget it. Yeah. Um, So, Loki... Watch Back to the Future again. Yeah. Will not do that. Yes. (laughs) All right. Option number four. We just decided that last last week, right, that Fletch was a better film, so... Yes. Fourth option. I need to edit that. Fourth option? Yes. Coming in summer 21. Summer 21. What if? I have a it is an anim- relationship it's an an- no. with the comic book. So what it's if? an animated series depicting alternate scenarios to MCU continuity. So this is outside the universe. Featuring Jeffrey Wright, the guy that plays Bernard in Westworld, as Uatu the Watcher. Never loved the Watcher. And then... But that Watcher sounds like an interesting Watcher. It's got all, all, it's got actors from the MCU coming to reprise their roles as voice actors. That's got real potential. So, so here are some of the actors returning. So, but they're just, they're just one-offs then, right? Like, they don't, they it don't looks really like it. matter. Okay. So, Michael B. Jordan is Killmonger. Okay. Uh, Sebastian Stan is Bucky Winter. So you could bring Sebastian. back a lot of the villains you well, killed. Uh, actors, Josh so. Brolin is Thanos. Right. Hulk, Loki, Nick Fury... Hemsworth, Thor, Peggy Carter, Black Panther, Nebula, Hawkeye, Ant Man, Hank Pym. Oh, back up! Hawkeye's in it. Well, it's you important. Were, you were starting to sell me in it. Dum Dum Dugan, Howard Ooh. Stark. How about Jim Morita? Uh, I don't know if they mentioned him. Craglin, Jane Foster. Someone just listed as Kurt, which I'm not sure who that is. Uh, Doctor Abraham Erksine, Korg, Artem Zola, Korath. See, but- do you really is, want is to Kurt watch all the, the Hydra can... guy? Hydra guy. That's all. Guy. No, just that underling. Oh, maybe. You mean crossbones? No, no just no, the like guy a, the ordinary side. guy. Know, maybe. The... You know, Hail Hydra. Dude. Uh, Grandmaster Yondu and Taserface. Yeah, fine. So what? So what? Alternate MCU continuity? 
Oh, you know what the one I want to hear? He is. The one in which Hawkeye yeah, there we go. gets off his sorry butt and saves Quicksilver. You know what? They did mention Quicksilver as returning voice. And then Quicksilver is the key to there never being a Thanos, yeah. to there never being a snap. Thanos. They had oh, Hawkeye just gotten off that life raft and mm. gone to help. The whole world would have been fine. Yeah. Well, I mean, oh, there's a problem with that. Because you know in classic what-if continuity right. that whatever changes ends up in some horrible apocalypse. Well, no, because that would have happened, right. and then someone else would have found the gauntlet. So, no, no, so and then nothing it, ends up just fine. Quicksilver s- s- fixes everything, but the very last scene is Hawkeye, mm-hmm. like doing something that like no, then wrecks it anyway. He accidentally shoots an arrow that like kills. So what you're suggesting is that Hawkeye is the most important figure in the MCU. No, as a villain, he's the most incompetent figure, but important. Yes, because he's incompetent and not really a superhero. Important. Because yes, he's yeah. very important. Important In- just look me through his head yes. right now. Yeah, that's all I'm. That's all I'm focusing. No, I hear on. that. I hear what you're focusing on. So makes you feel better. So there's my first one. Hawkeye actually is a hero for once. Okay. What if you Hawkeye? Really that's the title. Him? What if Hawkeye were a hero? Mm. I've got some good ones. Okay, better than a what if Hawkeye were a hero? Yes. Okay. Wait. What if Marvel had watched? the rights to all of its franchises when launching the MCU? Oh, uh, that's a good what if, but you can't do that, can you? I don't know. They have them now. I guess so. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. What if T'Chaka had not abandoned Killmonger? Eh. Yeah. What if Bucky had not become the Winter Soldier? You mean just died when he fell off the train? That's or a didn't really, fall off the train. That's a really quick cartoon. <laughs> or didn't Ooh. fall off the train. <laughs> 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 and then it's hard cuts to a funeral. Ooh. No, there's no funeral. It just Ooh. cuts to the credits. What if, Cap- just... <laughs> what if Captain America became the Winter Soldier? The only voice actor is Sebastian Stan, and all he says is, Whoa! Oh, God! <laughs> and that's it. Oh. What cut, if Yondu had turned credits. Quill over to Ego? Again, these all seem like bad ends. Yeah, I guess. Like, hey, um, you want to see how your heroes could have failed? What if Hawkeye had done the right thing and died, leaving think... Black Widow to live? Mm. Actually, that one makes it. Or what if they had stopped Thanos on Mars? Yeah, what if, what if they were on Titan on Mars? What? They were on Titan. Whatever. What if Star Lord had a head button? Had a hissy fit? Oh yeah, that would yeah. What if Haw- So like, what if Star Lord were a mature person? Yeah, well, that'd be a good one. That'd if. be a very different Guardians. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, so you're, you seem kind of middling on on. Because well, they seem like kind of stupid ideas. Yeah. I don't love. I, I I haven't heard a lot of ideas that I really want to pursue. Okay. Because um, again, a lot of times it's hey, what if they didn't win? And it's like it's sort of neat. But, well, but generally, if they didn't win, it it still ends up badly. I'd like what ifs that were a little like wilder in okay. their conception. Like yours are yours are all very logical what ifs. Mm-hmm. You know, what if Thanos fell in love with the Scarlet Witch? Mm. Yeah, yeah, something that's completely out of left field. Right. What if Hawkeye what if Thor played never, left field for the New well, York well, Mets? What if Thor never found Earth? What if like the Guardians never found Earth? So then, like, butterfly effect. You know, Loki's never there. They never find out about yeah. like the. What if Red Ooh. Skull? Never... What if the DCEU was as good as the MCU? That's not see. That's good. What if? What if the red skull turned blue? He'd be the blue skull. I know. Like, so tell me, what the, is the blue skull what story if, different? What if I'm not sure it's any different except like he's blue. <laughs> yeah. What if Happy and May had a baby? Mm. That's not really a what if so much as a future. That's not something that's happened yet. What well, if more I... than what if, isn't it? No, the what if is always stuff that had happened that you're seeing a different option. Not Well, like... they're flirting with each other, but they consummate. And then they have a baby. Yeah, but that's actually, kind of building off of something yeah. that didn't happen but could happen. What if Iron Man never gets ambushed? Like there the you go. first movie. Yeah. Well, that, that's the first one, right? Yeah, except actually, if yes, that might the be a movie really... in which the in which it describes Iron Man's origin is the first Iron Man movie. No, 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 no first Marvel. Yes, that is the first yes. Marvel film. Yeah, so like you know, go all the way to the beginning. Yeah, Downey Jr. is not mentioned to someone. Unfortunately, so. well, oh, oh, what if he dies? And then it's like, you know, the guy he met, the, the his friend in the cave, somehow becomes Iron Man. Or Pepper, somehow. That's not a bad idea, the guy in the cave. What's his name? Vincent. Yeah, what yeah. if he became? I like that or one. Or if that's, that's just, you know, even if it's just a bad end, it's like... I don't know, like, what ifs... What if Steve yeah. never got frozen? They were always hit and miss, weren't they? 
I never it read a like lot the, of them, but they were very. It was like the miss. Marvel team up, you yeah. know. Like every yeah. once in a while, there'd yeah. actually be something there, but oftentimes right. it was just like. There's so. one more show. I feel like this is going to seal the deal. All right. Well, now executives. Coming in fall. No, for us to get into spend one. Seven dollars a month. Coming in fall 2021. So I've got time to decide. Yes. Well, this is coming. For the first show is coming this fall. So you're, you know, with that with Falcon Winter Soldier, you're going to have to decide. But this. I feel like there's nothing more that could get you to watch it than okay. this, which is Hawkeye. I hate you. Is it just? It's just Hawkeye. No, it's, no, no family. We don't it's know gonna a lot. have like a Kate Bishopy character. He's in it, right? We know two things about it: uh, is that he will be training Kate Bishop, and that apparently it will explore some of the time he spent as Ronan. Whoa! I'm not interested at all in the time he spent as Ronan. But that is all we know about it. it, it not interested. That's a problem. I mean, Kate Bishop, I'm I'm intrigued by. Mm-hmm. Well, it feels like they might be doing an adaptation of the Fraction Aja series, which would be kind of cool to see, because that's a really good series. Yeah, I, I've not read it. I know that you love it. I trust you on that. I just, I don't want to see you the Ronin stuff. Yeah. You trust me on that. Yeah, like I trust that that's a good series. We have no other option but to. Interesting. So yes, so Captain America, just Winter, or, sorry, Falcon and Winter Soldier, WandaVision, Loki, What If, and Hawkeye. It's almost on there, like they're on a descending scale for me. Yeah. The first one, the the Falcon. Wait, that seems like the best one. Good. And then WandaVision Again, seems like the. I feel like they're ending one. pretty strong. And then Loki. It's kind of, good, it's kind of a dip with what if. what if, and then they end then really Hawkeye. strong. Now, it feels like it feels like the law of diminishing return. It was like the first two don't really care about. It's like somebody said, we need five, mm-hmm. and, and they, they got two. The two that are great. They like what if is kind of a. Out of left field, kind of, you know, surprise. Um, Loki, everybody loves Tom Hiddleston. And they're everybody like, loves what, Jeremy Renner. What is going to be the fifth one? And then, then they're like, you know what? We haven't who done Hawkeye yet. Who can we get yet. cheaply? Right. Like, who will do, who will work almost for like. Who's not got a film going up at all? Right. Oh, Renner's not cheap. He's a movie star. He's a movie star. It's true. Actually, I like Renner. I just, I'm not a big Hawkeye guy. Like, that one doesn't. Really? I, I haven't picked up on that. I do not <laughs> want to watch Renner as Ronan. I have. Almost no interest in that. I'd rather the rest go and lead men. Do you really want to see him like slice and dice more Japanese or Mexican gangsters? They don't have to necessarily be racial. He can he can slice up some white dudes. So that too, like, but more like Ronan, just like angry slicing and dicing. I think there's an interesting storyline to do in terms of like, and it probably feeds into sort of his training Kate Bishop of, of sort of the ways in which that he kind of is giving up the Hawkeye name largely because of the things he's because done. Because of the terrible things he's done. Okay, that's, a, that's an interesting yeah, thing. I, I can Hawkeye see, I can see that as, as training. Sort of, but, okay, and also if, if it is a show that gets rid of Hawkeye, I'm okay with that. Well, it maybe gets rid of one Hawkeye to create the Kate Bishop. That's part. fine. And, I mean, if you have Kate Bishop, then you're not that far from Young Avengers. It would be nice to have a Young Avengers film. Well, because we've got Kate, we've also got Cassie Lang running around. Right. So, you know, that's that's two of the founding members right there. Yeah. True. Maybe WandaVision leads to the birth of, of uh, Billy and Tommy. Could be. In some way, so we'd get uh, yeah. Asgardian and Speed. Do you need Wiccan? Well, he was Asgardian first. Oh, was he? Okay, so he becomes Wiccan? Yeah. Boy, he's, he's struggling to find a name for him. Yeah, his name, and then I think he became Warlock. That's right, he did. Yeah, I don't, they, they've struggled to find names for him. They've struggled, but yet at the same time not tried that hard. Yeah. Yeah, that's part of the struggle, I think. <laughs> yeah. It's like Warlock. That's the best you could come up with. Yeah. There. I mean, they had, what, uh, Hulkling that was, uh, I think, the son of the original Captain Marvel and a Skrull princess. Yeah. So we've got Skrulls running around. Yeah. I think we're coming off base here a little bit. So. Yeah, we are. So they could, you could do Young, uh, young Avengers so, spun out of Hawkeye. So where are we? Like, I, it, it sounds actually kind of intriguing overall. A little bit. I and think that they're going to matter. Helps, well, but WandaVision is apparently tying into Doctor Strange. Well, so wait, no question. So then, here, are the other ones not canon? No, I think they're all canon. Except for so, the what if. Except what if. What if is obviously Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, so the other ones, though, good or bad, even Hawkeye will, I mean, they still will count towards the MCU. Oh, yeah, they're still part of the MCU. I just, I wonder if they're launching this at the wrong time. How do you mean? Well, they're entering into Phase 4. Mm-hmm. But and, if, like, we've already talked about the way in which Phase 4, like, when you're getting to the Eternals and Shang-Chi... Mm-hmm. You're doing stuff on the silver screen that most people don't know a lot yeah. about. I'm surprised there's that no there's, shows there's, that back those up. Yeah, there's more risk involved yeah. with that. And so it would have made sense to me to launch this Disney Plus platform earlier mm. when you still had the megastars 
in the really well known stuff. Well, I mean, technically, we're not actually getting Black Widow until next May, so Captain America or Falcon Winter Soldier will be first. Because that's coming out this fall. Right, but my point point being. So, because what we're going to get. uh, But that. To to solidify the platform, having. Having Chris the Evans in having the, the Captain yeah, Evans, yeah. having, having Chris Evans have on the platform what? would have made a difference because you're not going to have Chris yeah. Evans on that platform. Yeah, well, yeah we're only, only going to have, have end game and stuff by the time the what we're going to have because what uh, Falcon Winter Soldier is coming out fall. Oh no, Falcon Winter Soldier comes out after Black Widow. That's right. But that doesn't matter to me. Yeah. Like my point is that so we get Falcon Winter Soldier and yeah, then I think wise. Eternals. Had they backed it up. When they were more in the sure thing range, mm. well, but know, they didn't, would have been a yeah. better time to launch. Like it. if they'd done doing what's a soldier time, you know, they'd have had a ton right. of stuff to then yeah. push out towards. It. Now they've got you know five films which are neat, but yeah, none of the powerhouse yeah. is not really right. Well, they had Hemsworth. Well, they do have, and, okay. but that's late in the yeah. cycle. And too, then show so. wise, mm, sort of powerhouses. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not criticizing you or what you love, Patrick. I'm just really because it feels like you kind of are. I am on every episode of the show. You feel like it, but I'm not. What I'm saying is, Mm -hmm. if I'm Disney, I would have wanted to launch this five years ago, Mm. when I felt like I had like a sure thing. But then they were still trying to figure out how to make Shield not matter. Yeah. Well, and that they were also. I think at that point that was also a time when the movie and TV divisions were kind of at odds with each other. Now they are. If they could do together. that, that's great. They, they should have done that sooner. Mm. Like Shield was a real lost opportunity. Yeah, though I do enjoy the Shield. No, it's a good, it, and it got better when it when they divorced. Yeah, right. But well, it I was mean, a missed opportunity. I think part to of make the problem is that what the second TV season was matter. largely based on trying to connect them to the Inhumans, which that right. did not work out. Right. Well, and the season was season one the one that was connected to Winter Soldier. Mm-hmm. Was it just felt so tagged on? Well, to me, it felt like they knew that was coming, and the rest of the season was kind of just. Right. That's what I mean. Tag, time. Like they had to like they had to march in place till they got to yeah. that moment. Yeah, and so I was really excited by the idea that you could create this cross-platform Marvel universe, and then they just totally blew it with Shield. Yeah. So maybe they'll do it now, which yeah. would be cool. So what other? I'd say I'm still MCU iffy. TV shows. Should they create? Does it have to be from the movies they've made? Like, it can't be, like, a mutant tie-in or... Yeah, I would say, but I mean, yeah, yeah, uh... Eh, whatever you want. Franklin Richards. Oh, that's just gonna lead to Power Pack. Yeah, okay, no one Power Pack. Um, I think they should do Valkyrie. Valkyrie's not a bad idea. I would idea. like Valkyrie. I'd love to see them do, um, like, something new mutancy. Yeah. So, you know... As but, opposed to, uh, yeah, I'd like to see the new Mutants movie come out. Yeah. But you're a big New Mutants fan. That's one of my favorite titles, looking back. Yeah. What about a Kitty Pryde? See, I keep thinking X-Men. You want yeah. me to think of what's already in the universe. No, no, no. You can do whatever you want. A Shuri? Hmm? Yeah, would it'd be, be neat to see. Would be kind of cool. Be interesting. Yeah, or, know, just, like, or even like a, a Wakanda set show. So yeah, right, yeah. A bunch of characters the rest Wakanda. of Wakanda. Yeah, yeah, kind of like exploring Wakanda would be, a, yeah. I think, an interesting way to go with that. Yeah. You don't see a lot of Wakanda, really, not much of the, the people. Well, the there's people. a lot more to be done, I think, oh, yeah. with Wakanda. Yeah. Yeah, so you could you could do something with Wakanda. Yeah. Um, gosh, what else would I want to see based on this stuff? If there's not a ton of Doctor Strange I'd want to see. Yeah. We could see what's going on with Gamora. Well, I assume they're going to do that in a movie. Like, yeah, that's but Guardians but 3, we, right? Well, we'll see them probably find her. I don't know that we'll really see, like, a lot of what she's been doing. Well, you can't have that until they find her, though. Yeah. Can you? Well, but they could set it up in the show and then have the show feed into the movie. Like, we get Gamora. Well, that's true. I we get the continued adventures of I'm thinking of about it the old-fashioned way, like the, the movies take place. Well, I'm a much more TV. forward thinker in that You way. are. You are. Um, gosh, who else oh, do I Red wonder? Skull. Just him chilling on the mountain? I don't need more Red Skull, Just actually. talking like the random people. Or just talking, just talking to himself. <laughs> He's just playing checkers with himself. Yes. Sure was nice when Hawkeye and Black Widow showed so up. So lonely. <laughs> No one's been here since Captain Rogers came and dropped off that stone. Uh, that was awkward. Yeah. <laughs> I hid when he showed up. <laughs> I wonder if she was at high. Yeah, yeah, so... Like, maybe some of the Asgardians you oh, could do uh, something uh, with? Oh, Korg and, um... The guy with the blade hands. I'm yeah, the not so much. No? But... And, and, and what about Noob Master 69? <laughs> <laughs> that guy would be a great spin How cool there would you be go. If, like, it but turns actually, out he's like one of the new superheroes. 
I like the theory yeah. that it's Deadpool. Tessa, <laughs> Tessa Thompson, kind of ruling that fishing village would be fun. Yeah. You know, like uh, like this is what it looked like as she ruled and yeah. Thor was just playing video games. Yeah. Well, no, Thor's off with the Guardians. No, I, but flashing back to like oh, that, okay. like to where we find Fat Thor. Like you never see Thor in this series; you just hear him, right? Like screaming for more grog and yeah, and band whip or beer. Yeah. yeah. Um. Oh, he's just, no, he's just like texting us or something. How about a pep, a pepper pots? Mm. In the aftermath, kind mm. of. No, I would be interested to see if she like takes over the eye. Is it because you don't like pepper pots or you don't like what Paltrow? It's more Paltrow. Okay. I would need to see if she did like the Iron Man thing. Paltrow's vegan, so I'm I'm down with Paltrow. Mm, she, she, yeah, her whole goop thing is kind of weird. I right. haven't followed her goop stuff. Her, like, lifestyle brand is a little... Well, I think whenever a Paltrow or an Oprah try to put together a lifestyle brand, mm. it's only a matter of time until they do things where you're like, yeah, like, that's not yeah. the world the rest of us live in. Yeah, pretty much. So. Uh, so you don't like Pepper Potts as a spinoff? No. How about no. Tony's daughter? That could be interesting. Well, she I mean, she could end up being an Iron... I guess she wouldn't be Iron Lad, but she could be... Iron Gal. Yeah. No. In, uh, that's kind of sexy. Yeah, I'm not sure what what's the equivalent of la- Lassie. Iron I think, Lassie. I think I have to change it, like yeah. to you know Iron Heart. Iron Heart. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Iron Woman. But then you're whitewashing Iron Heart. Yeah, and even an Iron Heart is also a little like women are all emotional. Like mm-hmm. I don't know. So. Iron um, Girl. Death Killer three thousand. Iron Woman. <laughs> mm. uh, Iron Queen. But yeah, but you got her running around, so that you could add her to Young Avengers. Yeah, I like we're, we're clearly struggling to. F- to think of other spinoffs that we want out of the... Yeah. Was this so, what the pitch meeting Well, if Tom like, Holland doesn't want to do movies anymore, we could do a Spider-Man TV show. Is he not doing movies anymore? He's only contracted for that one more Spider-Man Well, film. what if you did, like, a, a Vision's Academy show? Like, it was about the kids around him? Oh, Vision. Oh, sorry. You said Not Vision. the Vision. Yeah, I was like... What? We like, in the comic movies. book, he goes to Vision's Academy or gotcha. whatever. So, like, what if you did it around the smart kids around him? Wait, are we talking about Peter or are we talking about Miles? Oh, he never goes to Visions Academy. Yeah, that's but, Miles. But he, but he goes to, like, that smart kid's high school. Yeah. Same thing. They should do a Spider-Verse TV show is what they should do. Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. Animated yeah. or not. Like, even if they just do the... the just animated. Yeah. Well, I mean, ideally it's animated, but, like... Well, I'd really like to see them get Miles Morales into the... That's what I'm saying. That, yeah. too. That would be actually a great well, Spider-Man Well, I mean, if Holland three. is wrapping up after the next Tom film... Tom Holland goes out like Peter Parker does in the Ultimate Universe they need, for Play Spider. Oh, you don't want to kill Tom Holland. Gosh, we're really... We're way off track here. We're just talking about superhero TV. Well, kind of Barely. talking more. We're talking about hypothetical potentials. My, yeah. We're just kind of wandering about, it feels like. Possibly. How are we doing on time? Oh. I don't know. Oh. In the old days, about. 53 was considered a good length. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, we've gotten bloated. Like, like we used like to shoot for 55. The, yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't so know. So we could think about starting to wrap it up. We could. In the way that we tend to meander to where I, so if you're going to do a what if podcast, what would it be like? What in in the history of our podcast, mm-hmm. what would be the difference? Like what if? What if it was balls? What if I never showed up to do tech? There you go. Like it's, oh. it's, the, it's the classic. What if you know, oh, oh, the classic? Oh no, just gonna... ball episode. What oh, if yeah. it was balls? I like that. That's... What if Colin spoke? <laughs> What if Colin was Michael Jackson in that jacket he used to wear? Oh, yeah. I totally forgot about that. What yeah. if you guys half Michael Jackson, station? half... Uh, oh, yeah. What if we never... What if, what we, if still... we were still a radio oh, show? My. Or what if we were still doing both? Yeah. That'd be a short one. Oh, yeah. Patrick and Alan died. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So, like, there's, there's, so there are what ifs. What if we had done Hamilton after I actually saw Hamilton? Oh, that would have been good. That would have been a good one. Yeah. Well, look at you got guests on the show. We've had guests. No, what no, if we no. got the guests we requested on the show? <laughs> oh yeah. What if you know, what, what if, if Rich Pat did? What if up? Rich got the guests we asked him to? I get? don't know. I think what, I have access to any of this. Kind of what thing. if Rich did his job? Oh, that ooh. would be the title. Oh. What if Rich oh. did his job well? What if Rich did his job? <laughs> oh, no, the next time I'm setting up the audio equipment and editing the show. I meant the recruiting part of the job. Oh. Yeah. Okay. What if Rich did all the parts of his job? Yeah. <laughs> I don't recall that being a job description <laughs> when I signed up for this <laughs> job. Did you sign up? <laughs> oh, what if we didn't give all of those mashies to other Richards? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. one. Oh, oh. Okay. what if Do some guests yeah. actually showed up prepared? Yes. What if Chris Stevens spoke on the that show? Was, yeah, that was, that yeah. was, what yeah. if I watched the movies we talk about? What if Inspector yeah, what Lewis if, what wasn't What if Rich lame? actually watched what he talked about? Oh, oh there you go. For the movies. 
What if what oh, Inspector yeah. Lewis did his job? Yeah. Another one. <coughs> Was good at his job. Yeah. Yeah. What if we had liked Inspector Lewis? Oh. I mean, Rich would have a totally different attitude towards He probably us. would. He probably would. Well, he is rich. Yeah, fair point. Not sure how much of an what attitude. The show ended different rich. Ago. So it's like a what if, but it's nothing ex- changes. It's exactly, it's exactly the same. <laughs> yes, if there is a universal constant. It's rich. It is, the hatred. It is, it is the attitude of Rich Hancock. Oh, my God. What if that's all that's holding this, this show together? This universe. This universe, this universe like together. The entire universe is stitched together by his oh. attitude. Well, what happens if, like, from an alternate reality, they, they need to take Rich from ours? Yeah. We'll have to stop them. And then we, we, you know, we're a richless universe. Or we get like a Harrison Wells kind of. We'll mm. need to make a giant Rich. robotic AI to defend ourselves against potential threats. Mm. Oh, oh, I've got a what if for the podcast. Yeah. What if we had never done four Dungeons and Dragons episodes? <laughs> Ooh. Well, right now we're like multi-millionaires. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh so yeah. close. Or what if we'd done eight? Yeah. Ooh, geez. What if we never stopped? Yeah. yeah. What if we what were if still on the staircase cliffs? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what if you guys never got up the cliffs? Can we call them the staircase cliffs of insanity? For what if my character made sense? <laughs> what if Progar's character was useful? Hmm. Yeah. Sorry, folks, this is a deep dive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this I, is... I feel like maybe now we've really... Like, once we've gotten to Dungeons & Dragons, we've plumbed the bottom. We probably have, like, what's yeah. left to... It clearly ends in Apocalypse. What's left? Darkness. Oh, what if, what if uh, Gotham was still on the air? What if you actually wrote the Gotham quiz to oh, decide yeah. the world championship? That should be our next show, I'm thinking. Yeah, that's a lot of work for me to get done. It well, is. Well, you dropped some work late recently, so... Not until the end of the summer. Yeah, fair point. Yeah. Summer's almost over. Yeah. Well... Well, speaking of things being almost over... That's right, this show feels, feels like, like this episode ended over. a while Not ago. time for me to be shuffling off. Just <laughs> creeping towards that, that finish mm-hmm. line. Almost there. Yep, getting close. Anytime Rich wants to flip you the button.